What's going on guys? It's me Jiggly and I'm back with another mod block spotlight for you here. And this one's on the Aquas Accumulator and Thermal Expansion. Let's learn something new. Alright guys, let's go ahead and start this, but fair warning, I feel like I am at a pumping station or a water tower or you're going to hear a lot of water pumping and I left that on just so you can appreciate the original sounds from Thermal Expansion's Aquas Accumulator and that's what we're doing today is we're working on that Aquas Accumulator so first things first we gotta know how to craft it so let's go ahead and look at that real quick Aquas Accumulator we are going to be looking at doing a bucket on top a machine frame like always in the middle two glass any type of glass really but original Minecraft glass will work two copper gears of course and a pneumatic servo which is super easy to make iron redstone and glass and that will give you this beautiful beautiful block right here called an aquas accumulator and this thing is kind of what it sounds like uh, it, it aqua it, it, it picks up water guys information it extracts water from its surroundings places in a pool of water to speed it up and don't drown so as you can see here this is where the water will go our augmentation is we allow for an automatic transfer out redstone controls and of course the uh, ability to configure the sides of it are the default uh, of course we have our redstone in a disabled pattern and our configuration it's all output man anywhere this baby can output water <laughs> so yeah if I show you real quick um, let me pull down some quartz so I can replace it so it doesn't look too tacky you can see there I have water underneath this thing but it's not doing anything right uh, but here we have water on both sides. Now you can put it on the back side too. But after two blocks, it's pretty much full speed. And this guy is completely filled up. And I'll break it just to show you the speed. It, it, it's pretty much 800 MB per tick. So boop, we'll fill it like that. And right here, 800, 16, 24, 3200. Yep, just like that. And that's going to pump. That's going to put water in this guy and you can do what you want with the water so I've got some tanks right here and this is another style if you've watched me play some of the modded survival series that I do this is typically what I do so it's all flat or I'll even put it one lower like this where it's buried and then just run a pipe out of the ground essentially uh, but this is just to show you there's two on the side and then you can just bury it if you so choose to pretty much like this and then just run pipe so if we were to connect pipe to that like this boop now you can see water is filling up and rather quickly that tank is completely full already it, it didn't take no time at all to fill that water tank look how cool that looks of course guys I am using a texture pack for this but uh, yeah that this is the aquas accumulator super basic um, don't drown according to thermal expansion of course it's got a tutorial configurations but it, it is a straightforward block nothing too special but oh, it allows for some really sweet, uh, just like in the last tutorial video that I did do, where you can um, get the igneous extruder and literally just generate cobblestone like it's out of nowhere. So, very powerful block, but yet so very simple and quite easy to craft. Very easy to craft. So, I hope this has been helpful. This has been the Aquas Accumulator from Thermal Expansion. It allows you to pump water from a water source. <laughs> Yeah. Be sure to share it with your friends and family, guys, and all your fellow Minecraft players, especially if they are new to modded. Again, I'm using the Quigley Craft Mod Pack from Technic Launcher. Um, yeah, I hope this has been helpful. As always, guys, take care. Stay tuned for more videos.